it's Jamie. I have a cold and I live in Saudi Arabia and I have a makeup collection that just keeps getting larger. There's a hair in my nose and I am gonna freak out. Oh my God. Ugh. So last week I received a very financially irresponsible order from Beauty Bay and there are two items from that Beauty Bay order that I didn't include in my full face of new makeup video, which you'll be seeing on Monday, I wanna say. And these two items I wanted to have a special separate dedicated video for because they are fun and interesting and I think we could do a lot with these two products. So I have the color cases from Made by Mitchell. I have both the electric and the essential. So one is a very colorful cream product palette and the other is obviously like skin toned colored cream products. So what I would like to do today is I would like to do an eye look and I would also like to put on some blush and contour and bronzer using both these palettes. I've put on my foundation already, so we're good to go there. But I have an eye look that I would like to try. Here it is, my friend sent it to me and yeah, let's get going, let's try it. Let's get started. So I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to tape my eyes. <coughs> I got this tape from She Glam and it's actually kind of lit. So I want to make sure that I have a nice crispy edge. So now that my tape's down, I am going to head in with the brush that it comes with. I also have this palette, like this mixing palette from Danessa Myricks. I also included that on the order. And yeah, let's just, let's just get into this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into the blue, which is too blue. I haven't played these a whole lot. This is maybe only the second or third time I've played with these at all. So I thought today would be a good day. I haven't put any primer on my eye. Allegedly, these are really similar to like the P. Louise bases, which, you know, I'm not into the idea of that just due to the cost, but I am interested in of having this type of product. I think I'm gonna pull out this green, which is high, what is it? High Viz. I'm just gonna put that kind of next to that. Why is my cat digging in the litter pan right now? Perfect time, right now. Dig in the litter pan. Go for it. Oh yes, start meowing. Wonderful. Hi. Okay, so I have two colors down so far. I am gonna wash off this brush, so I'll be right back. All right, so I've scooped out a little bit of sour. This shade right here, it's almost more of a green in the pan to be quite honest. And I might use actually the other brush just to make sure this one's wet, but I'll use the other one. It's fine. It's fine. Now I'm going to take a little bit of high vis again, just a teeny bit and kind of mix that. <clears throat> back in. I almost want more blue. I want more of the two blue shade. It's kind of not dark enough, almost. So the thing I don't like about something like this is that you have to use a lot of brushes and I guess I'll be washing my brushes later, you know? And I'm going to Go ahead and grab, I think I'm gonna grab Interstellar, Be Perfect Interstellar, and I'm just gonna fill in each of the colors silently, as in I'm gonna put a very 
neon yellow here, a green here, and then a blue here. And I need to kind of let these dry. Maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Interstellar and I'll be right back and you'll kind of see me working with it and filling in my eyes. Well, that was enjoyable, I will say. I'm going to finish my brows a little bit and then I'm gonna head back into the color case. Okay, brows are done. I've scooped out a little of the blue onto my hand, a roundabout way to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line. So let's peel off the tape, right? And I'm gonna go back in with one of the brushes. I'm just going to run that under my lower lash line a little bit and kind of blend it. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line, I think with the color palette as well. So I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of Keeping It Teal, this color, and I'm gonna use that as my liner. Okay, so here we are. Try to pat out the creasing in my eyes a little bit. It's especially in the green. Head into the color case, the rather the essentials color case. And I'm just going to, gosh, I need to clean. Ah, I need to clean everything really. I'm just gonna head into Mm, I think kind of, what is this color? The creamsicle color, and I'm gonna use that to kind of line under my brows just a little bit. You know, you know when you use concealer to cut out your brows? Same idea. You can use this as like a brow product, but it doesn't intrigue me for that. I don't really use brow pomades and my brows are kind of like pitiful anyway. Okay, I'm going to hop off camera for a minute and I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'm going to put on some gems. All right, so the eyes are done. Very cute, a lot, but very cute. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to bronze, contour, blush. So let's start with the contour. So we're going to be taking, <clears throat> I think a little bit of this, oh, what is it called? Why can't I read? Whoa. I think we're gonna take this caramel shade and we're gonna mix it with a little white and just the, the faintest hint of blue. So I've got those on my mixing palette. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some on my nose. Since I have a nice straight edge, why not use it, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my sponge and the rest. I'm just going to hollow out my cheek a little bit. Can you believe that contour shade? Wow, that is really nice. I am gonna try and kind of buff it out a little bit, just a little upward with my 
foundation brush. Here we go. This side looks a little bizarre, but it kind of always does on me a little bit. But that's nice. It's really nice. Okay, then <clears throat> I'm gonna go in and scoop out a little bit of that caramel shade. I'll move my face a little bit. I think I'm gonna go in and scoop out hmm. I don't know. Kinda wanna scoop out a little bit of this shade Coral Moral. And a little white. That's a little concerning. I don't know what you what you think about that. I don't know. Hopefully this will work. Oh, that's cute. But that is so cute. I shouldn't be so worried about like wasting the product because I have these huge dishes of them and the bad thing about this is that it expires in six months, or rather the expiration date on it is six months. I hate when brands do that. They give you like a good product, but especially a cream product, and it's only good for six months. That's lame, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to finish off my makeup, I think. I'm going to, oh wait, you know what I need to do? I'm gonna use this as well. I'm gonna use this as well for lipstick. So I'm gonna use it as a liner and I'm gonna use it as a lipstick. So really quickly, I'm just gonna set the wash brush again and now I come back and use the color cases as lipstick. So I'll be right back, one second. I really wish I hadn't taken off that pink or orangey blush shade that I just used, but that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I think, start to line my lips with, uh, what is it? I think I'm gonna go ahead and caramel. Now I have used this as lipstick and it does work quite well. <clears throat> so here we are. <clears throat> Lined. And I'm gonna go back into Coral Moro. Kind of have a lipstick like this color. Okay, the issue is, is that you can't move blah, 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 your lips, but <clears throat> Maybe not everyone hates that as much as I do. I'm gonna go back into caramel a little bit. I'm gonna kind of blend it in. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a gloss on and I'll be right back. All right, here's the finished look. Fun, interesting, different approach, no? So the color cases, all right. The color cases I'm fairly impressed with. There is a little bit of creasing in my eye, but I suppose that's to be expected to a degree. I have an all matte look on right now. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't creasing, but I'm sure that if I really was annoyed and could pat it out, like it would pat out, you know? Let's give it a try. I would imagine that's kind of normal. So usually shimmers kind of help disguise somewhat that you're creasing in your eye, but maybe not no, maybe just for me, but I don't know. And I kind of messed up and put glue in a stupid way down here, but ignore that. But otherwise, I'm really happy with how the look turned out. It was really fun. It was really simple. 
and it was really nice to put shadow on top of these color cases. I really liked using the color cases as customizable blush product, um, contour product. So I did kind of mess up with the uh, contour shade over here, but that is more of my application error. And also the side of my face is just harder for me to contour for whatever reason, I don't know why. But yeah, the color cases are really fun. Um, if you have some time on your hands to just sit down and play with makeup and see what you can do, I think you would really like these. If you are not so much into hanging out, taking your time, doing your makeup for fun, pass. But as it is, I think they're fun to work with. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know if you want to see another look with some of these. I have something in mind, maybe for next time, but thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!